Okay, first I did an unboxing of the Google TV, the Sony Internet TV with Google TV. I also did a setup of the device. If you haven't watched those two videos, go check them out. There'll be links to it uh, at the end of this video. Now we're going to do an overview of the actual interface and how you use this. Now, unfortunately, the entire purpose of having Google TV is to integrate the internet with your television. Now, in my case, my cable box does not have an HDMI input or output. So, I don't have my, my cable box hooked up to my Google TV at the moment. However, I'm going to have to call my cable company and upgrade it. I have Comcast. So, we're going to have to do this overview without TV, and it actually probably works out better that way because I don't run into any copyright issues that way. But if you look at the first uh, little bo box over here, and the benefit of actually having a uh, projection TV here is I can point to it and you'll see my shadow here. The first box right here is live TV. I don't have it playing through it right now, so that's fine, but that's where you'd find it. The next thing, and these are all the first bookmarks that they give you. I'm sure you can add more on your own. The next thing you got here is YouTube. Uh, we're going to click on that right now, and we're going to go to uh, YouTube here, and let's see, would you like to try out YouTube Leanback? Um, I'm good for now, I just want to show, I know Leanback, I'm somewhat familiar with it on, um, when you, you can get it on your computer. Uh, I'm not really interested in it right now, so we're going to click on that, and we're going to click on my, we're going to click on the search box up here, and we're going to look up my YouTube page, Tech Harvest. Okay, and then we're going to search. And here are all my videos. And we're actually going to go to my page. And you can see my Google TV unboxing, which was done up here in my attic. Okay, what we have here is Sony Internet TV with Google TV. And let's it's put this on full screen. It's the Sony Blu-ray player uh, that has Google TV. And, and today is launch bit. day. I picked this up at Best Buy. And it was a little bit difficult. I didn't know when it was coming out. I ordered it. Turn it down. I'm a little loud there. So that is... Uh, let's see what some of the... Uh, the movement on this is because right now it's just static so I'm just going to move it a little forward so we can see if we get if the video is choppy or anything like that so far so good looks good and it was a little dim I should have put another light on when I did that video but it was a long day I hiked I went to a movie and I also went to a haunted house that night so it was a long day and uh, but I had to get it launch day anyway so that is that. Let's get out of this because it uh, seems to be the quality looks good. There's, it's not choppy, so I'm pretty happy with the YouTube performance on this so far. I will have a secondary uh, look and review on this device once I have the cable TV hooked up to it and let you know, um, you know after a little bit of using it what I think of it. Now, Curiosity over here. I'm curious about Curiosity. It's uh, From what I understand, it's a Sony... Uh, movie delivery service and um, I think it's pretty much like the PlayStation Network where you can rent movies on there I don't know if you can buy movies on here uh, yeah it's video on demand and it seems like they have a lot of the current movies out Iron Man 2, Jonah Hex, Prince of Persia, Nightmare on Elm Street Splice which was a piece of garbage Robin Hood which was a piece of garbage at least in my opinion um, let me click on Nightmare on Elm Street only because it is, it is, you know, around that time of year. It's October. It's close to Halloween. Let's see what we got here. Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay, you can rent it in HD for $5.99. You can rent it in SD for $3.99. And you can watch the preview. Um, very much like the PlayStation Network. Um, I, I don't know if you can buy movies on here, though. That's the only thing. I don't, uh, I don't know if there's a hard drive on this uh, Google TV device. But that was that. Uh, then we got Sony, the Sony site here, which um, Sony style, they probably, okay, it's their site, it's their website. So basically you can bookmark anything it seems on here. Um, Best Buy on. Let's see what that is. Upgrade and save. 
Okay, that was the Sony site still. Best Buy on, or on Best Buy. Uh, let's see, it looks like a... Uh, sort of an, an information site. Okay, interesting. Let's go back home here. Napster, I'm not, I'm not a Napster user. I'm not a Netflix user either. Um, I appreciate it, I think it's a great service. I just am not into a uh, subscription service. I prefer a pay-per-view model. I actually even go to a Blockbuster still. Uh, I know they just went bankrupt recently, but uh, they're restructuring, they're not going totally out of business, and the Blockbuster near me, uh, they said they're doing well, so hopefully they stay in business. I love going to a, a, an old-style video store and just seeing what they have available there. So that's cool. But I also have on-demand, if I don't feel like leaving the house, I have on-demand with my cable company. And uh, I always use, uh, if I don't feel like leaving and I want to watch a more current movie, I always use Amazon On Demand because it's a great service. It's got a lot of movies. And uh, I mean, I know Netflix here, it's streaming, but uh, it's just sort of, it's not for me. I'm not, not interested in the, uh, like I said, the subscription service, but that's just me. Those are all the bookmarks. You can add more, I would imagine, infinitely. Uh, now let's go to applications here on the side. So, okay. Uh, CNBC real time. We're not going to go through all of these, um, but we're going to just uh, give an overview of it. Disc player. I assume that's a DVD. Or that's a, a Blu-ray uh, gallery. That would be for your pictures. I don't know if this uh, device has a hard drive in it or not. So I know it does have four USB uh, ports on it, so you can attach a uh, hard drive to it. Uh, and then watch or, or see your your uh, listen to your media, watch your media, or look at your your pictures through that. But um, I don't know if it actually has uh, anything on it. Let's click on gallery. Okay, it goes through Picasa, so it's all cloud based. It seems. Um, let's uh, let's go back. Google Chrome. I use Google Chrome on my PC. I love Google Chrome. It's fast. It's uh, it's so just a great browser. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. Um, I will be using this, and hopefully I can sync my, um, my bookmarks to it, which is one of the cool things that you can do. So I don't know if this is Google Chrome already. Maybe it is, but uh, I can't get to a search bar. Maybe you have to type in the search. Okay, there we go. So you hit the menu button, and you pull up all this stuff at the bottom. Um, but if you want to search, I think it's a universal search through the device, so it's all integrated. So you press the search button down by the, uh, there we go, by the uh, um, space bar down there, so you can go to any website you want. So let's type something into the search here. Um, Google TV. And as you can see, there's Google Instant here, so it keeps updating every time I uh, enter in something new, just like Google Chrome does and Google Search does with any browser. Um, all right, so the options I've gotten were Search TV and Web Video for Google TV, Introducing Google TV on YouTube, Google I.O. Uh, 2010 or 2010, Google TV, this will work, really? Question mark and search the web. So we're gonna go with search TV and video, or web video for this, and see what brings up. Okay, this is uh, what it looks like. Seems like a lot of pundits and analysts, and it looks like uh, Natalie Del Conte from uh, CNET, I think it is. So yeah, it's uh, this dig, dignation there. Google TV, the big buzz. Okay, that was a search. Um, help guide, media player. Let's click on that and see what that's all about. Device list. There are no devices to display. All right, we'll have to check in on that at a later date. It looks like it's uh, up in the right upper left hand corner. There's a, a USB, so you would attach a USB device to it. So um, it seems like there is no hard drive in the device. You'll have to do either cloud or an attached drive. Uh, Napster, 
NBA game time. Let's click down. Oop, wrong, wrong thing there. And is that pretty much it? Let's see. Now there's more Netflix on off timer, Pandora. We all know what that is. Curiosity. We checked that out already. Settings. I'll have to go back in there when I add my new cable box. Sony recommends. Let's see what Sony recommends. Probably a lot of Sony stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, you got uh, Curiosity up front. Then you got some Michael Jackson stuff. Michael Jackson was signed to Sony, wasn't he? Blip TV. Best shows of the web. Crackle. Crackle is pretty cool. Um, we'll go through some of this at a later. Oh, Fearnet is on here. Wow. Very cool. I might not even need a cable box at some point. I mean, there I there are still some basic channels that I do watch and do need up here, but I might not even need one up here. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's go back here. My Play Music Network, Digital Cinema Concert Series. Now, the reason I say, let me just get back to this. The reason I say I might not need cable up here is this is my attic room. This is my movie room. This is my movie theater up here. Eight-foot TV over here. I got a big old-style popcorn popper in the corner. I got a microwave, a small refrigerator up here. I'm set. It's like my movie area up here. And uh, if I can, there's only a couple shows I watch on TV. If I can catch that through the Internet, maybe. Maybe I can uh, just leave the cable box downstairs in my living room. I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, I should upgrade my cable box anyway just to see what it's like on this. Um... Let's see, let's go back here. My Play Music, Digital Cinema Concert Series, Style.com. There's so many options on this thing. Concierge.com, Inspired Travel starts here. I could just spend hours and hours looking at all this stuff. Epicurious, people who love to eat. Wired, Inside Sony Pictures, Ford Models, Daily Motion, Howcast, On Networks. Golf Link, Videocast, Podcasts, I listen to podcasts all the time, Singing Fool, Music Videos That Matter, that sounds cool, Flickster, Flickster, the hottest new movie trailers, that sounds cool, eHow, How-To Videos in 24 Categories, very cool, Live Strong for a Healthy Life, wow, this is a lot of content here, Pongalo.com, Premium Hispanic Entertainment, Slacker, your music without the network, NPR, and Sony registration. So far, just a lot of content on here. Let's see the TV. I assume that's my actual TV, which I don't have hooked up. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. Twitter. Okay, very, very cool as far as the app, these applications go. Let's see what the spotlight is. Now, the spotlight has, seems like nine, let's see if it goes down. Okay, it has nine spotlight areas. You have Blip TV, CNET. New York Times, HBO Go, Crackle, The Onion, Vivo, and YouTube Lean Back. Um, let's check out Crackle. Now, Crackle it seems to be cool from what I know about it. Um, you can see movies. And I was actually thinking about Go recently. It was a movie I was uh, thinking about watching again. It's a, it's a cool movie. But uh, I guess you can just watch these movies for free. And seems like some a lot of old movies, but uh, still, like I said, there's just a lot of content on here. A lot of Godzilla movies too. Wow! But there's just a lot of content on here. There's four Godzilla movies right on this this uh, menu right here. There's just a lot of content here that you can go through and spend hours on if you're like Eric like Eric Schmidt says, you'll never be bored with technology. So. Uh, American movie, very funny movie. So there's some cool stuff on here that uh, that I can check out. Nothing like really current, but some some quality stuff. HBO Go. Now let's check out what HBO Go is. 